Hello, people around the world. Welcome back at Real Life Rest Ministry. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, so that you'll be notified of my new videos. So, guys, just let you guys, I have been a little, uh, the Holy Spirit has been, been talking to me since 2020, and I have been um, so behind of His words. So, I already embraced the calling that He called me to preach the truth to warn people to do his ministry, guess Jesus' ministry. So, guys, I just um, a messenger. So I want you guys to to really verify all my words because all the message. Because you know, I am also human. I will make mistakes, and you know. So I want you guys to really verify the words. So this is the word that the Holy Spirit spoke to me. This God's word, letter F. 10 23 2022 so it means october 23rd 2022 that is last year so the title of this message is idolaters are not god's people the word says i hear the lord says in my spirit those who worship idols other gods other than my only son Jesus are not my people. Again, he said, the Holy Spirit said, those who worship idols, other gods, other than my only son Jesus are not my people. All right, guys, so I'm going to give you, this is an ad lib. Okay, it's not in the, the message, but the Holy Spirit told me that to explain it to you about the idols. Idols, it could be anything. It could be a Hollywood actors, actors in your country that you fantasize or idolize that, or yourself, or your parents, your siblings, your children, money, wealth, fame, anything, work, anything that is above that you're putting them above or even your girlfriend or boyfriend above than God it means they are more important than God and including these images like whatever that images that you are worshiping all right so statues that you think that's God statues of Mary or whatever that scene you're talking about those are not gods those are idols those are uh, idols so anything 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 that you worship even sports hobbies anything that you worship above god that is considered idols and if you worship it you become the idolater so i would like you guys to to really read your bible that is in exodus chapter 20 verse 4 Okay, so you check it out, the, the Ten Commandments. All those of those Ten Commandments never been omitted. It's everything there. So, again, the idols, the idolaters, the idols, false gods, God hated it. And if you want to know more about it, you can go back to the Old Testament. God hates uh that kind of sin because God is a jealous God so he doesn't ha he hates the sin the the sins that not the sinner that's why he sent his only son Jesus Christ here again that's why he's he sent his only begotten son Jesus Christ here so that we can have eternal life and heaven only if we will accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and our Savior so if those, if you are part, or if you are one of the people who are doing this idolatry, worshiping other than God, worshiping idols other than God, you do not belong to God's people. So God created people that doesn't mean to belong to Him. So always remember that. I want you guys to really read your Bible and um, don't attack me because. I am just his messenger. So attack God. Be mad at God because he is the author of the Bible. I am just relaying the message. And if talking about boldness, I will 
tell you the truth. If you are doing this sin, idolatry, or you're an idolater, there's no idolaters in heaven. So you cannot enter in heaven. Period. So, alright guys, so if you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord, your God, and your Savior, today is the day of your salvation, don't wait tomorrow. Because tomorrow's word is the devil's word. Don't do it tomorrow. Do it now as you have time. Because if you don't want to do it now, well, guess what? God will not going to wait for you. If he will going to say you will die today, you will die today. So you... If you don't have Jesus Christ, your Lord, your God, and your Savior, you will definitely go to hell. So, all you have to do is to repent. Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord, your God, and your Savior. And then promise Him to follow Him for the rest of your life. So, this is your first step of your Christianity. It's not the, the baptism of the little baby, but it's not that is not in the Bible. Alright, so... You can pray your own simple prayer or you can pray along this simple prayer. Here you go. Lord Jesus Christ, please forgive me for all my sins. Please come into my heart and into my life and be my Lord, my God, and my Savior. From now on, Jesus, I will follow you for the rest of my life. Amen. So if you pray the simple prayer, your name is written. Again, your name is written in the book of life. Okay, guys, before I let you guys go... Um, I would like to encourage you guys all to read this book, Wanting This View. So the second edition, you can uh, buy that one, th this one in Amazon, www.amazon.com. So if you would like to read that, my story, this is my testimony. I had a prophetic dreams, God's warning, and everything, all the teachings there. If you would like to, you don't have to if you don't want to, but I really encourage you, really, to read your Bible. Read it every single day. If you are planning to go to heaven, read it. But if you don't want to go to heaven, then don't read it. So anyway, you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.